Welcome back. Gonna change back Juno for this episode. Hi. Yeah, Toddy's still here. How's it going? I bring news that Mushman has emerged from LP Ramadan. <laughs> it's time to LP feast with Jet Force Gemini. That rain is... Yeah, the... Uh, perspective check, man. Am I blind or was that coming sideways? Um, well, actually, funny thing about the rain, it does adjust to where you are, where the camera is in the actual game. So if you're running forwards, it'll kind of be tilted towards you. Oh, crap. I remember this one. This was freaking weird. Yeah. So we got this... these drones, but they don't quite look look like they uh, are healthy. They're not all there. No. Heroin's one hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so hopefully we should be able to kill them like not normal. N no, he's he's not dying. Please burn all of your ammo. We really <laughs> want to see the no ammo pistol tricks again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. say tricks like they actually are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here we go. These are the cluster bombs. So basically the idea, you get one bomb, it explodes into other bombs. So basically the idea with these uh, zombie drones is that they need explosive damage to be able to kill them. You could probably kill them with the uh, plasma rifle fully charged at their head, but uh, it's inconsistent. Yeah, basically when well, Moshman's kind of got it the easy uh, way because he has... Ready for this. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Dude, okay, when he blinks, that's fucking terrifying. I, I know, that. I couldn't get that to <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, that actually looks really good compared to the rest of the actual model. <laughs> I didn't even need to do upscale the resolution or anything. Anyway, oh, life force. Is that permanent? <laughs> I can make it permanent. <laughs> I, I can have Thread, vert yes to Proposition 2 on keeping Reggie face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the enemy is being, um resistant to pretty much everything is a problem with opening that life force store up in the previously in the room. We would theoretically have enough ammo to kill everything and go into the room and respawn the ammo, but really it's just no point. We'll just come back there later. We need to come back here anyway. But as I was saying before, Mushman's got this area the easy way because he already has the homing missiles, which he's not supposed to have yet. No. Basically, you're supposed to be scared out of your shit at this point, because the only thing you might have, and could probably miss, are the cluster bombs, so you couldn't kill anything at this point. <laughs> Alright, so Jeff's here, and he's pretty much responsible for fucking everything up, and in return for that, he's gonna give us the tri-rocket launcher, which is the fucking best amazing. weapon. Yes. Alright, and now we're gonna see just how he screwed everything up. With Mumbo Magic. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I'm onto you, man. So, yeah, ants doing what the ants have been usually doing. Tribal enslaving. In fact, they've enslaved so much tribals that the frame rate's really stuttering in this scene. Good job. <laughs> we away. have too many hostages, we're going to have to kill a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on this time? Oh we shit, he's actually gone. gonna use the set. <laughs> Why would you do this? It's mad as hell, man. Oh wow, like half the ant's face disappears. I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, RIP. Uh, uh, yeah, good job there. Oh no. You've cursed the great Deku tree forever. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play Operator of Time. Director's cut. <laughs> With guns. <laughs> I'll play the shit out of that. The way Shigeru Miyamoto intended it. <laughs> Just like how Mario was. Super Mario Bros. was originally supposed to have Mario with a gun. Oh, whoa, that would have been awesome. Yeah. But, no. It, they, they changed it. Okay, rocket launcher. There's no enemies in this area, so the only useful thing we can use it for at the moment is blowing up open doors. Defiling a crypt. Yeah, but it's, it's got weapons in it. We finally get the grenades for Juno. Yeah, we already got those for Vela, didn't we? Yeah, that was the first weapon for Vela. Mm. 
You could use the grenades to open up these uh, barricaded doors as well, but uh, just a waste of time. And we get two uh, capacity increases for the tri rocket launcher, so we're going to be having a lot of fun with the rocket launcher this episode. I'm down for that. The rocket launcher is the best weapon. Definitely. Okay, so another wooden door. Let's see if we can uh, open up this. No. Oh. No, that was reinforced wood. That's got like two layers of wood. You aren't prepared for that shit. <laughs> no. And that was that first area done, but don't worry. We're, we're doing more of the level. Start level got a few more capacity increase crates, but these ones are just for like pistol, machine gun, or plasma rifle. Hmm. Shotgun. Plasma shotgun. Thinking in Doom. <laughs> yeah, close enough. I mean, you got the key cards. You got. <laughs> The key cards. <laughs> if you look up there, that, there's that little hut. We can't reach that, as you know, and we'll pretty much be leaving that for a much later time. But just keep that in mind that's there. It'll be uh, on the test later. We're also going to be saving the tribals in this level, as opposed to the last level, which we uh, didn't really see any tribals, so... And the video before that, where we just decided to kill them for shits. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't do that. Wait, no, that was like episode two. <laughs> it's just all the episodes. Yeah. This is another one of those areas where they deceive you into thinking that you should be killing most of the enemies when you can just kind of kind of run through and save most of your time. But the invincibility is pretty cool and we can just kind of blow shit up. Raining blood. <laughs> you know what? I, it took me ages. When I was a kid, I also thought the black stuff was blood, but I, now that I think about it, it's probably oil or something. Would make sense. Yeah, it's just something I noticed. Here's a clever little thing I also figured out. You can tell when Juno is auto-aiming when he holds out the gun in front of him. That way you can, uh, instead of holding it, like, against his chest. Yeah. So that helps instead of uh, trying to blind fire all the time, you can, uh actually know when auto aim's happening. Of course, auto aim doesn't ever work on flying enemies, so we're gonna have to take these out the hard way. Of course. It's actually a nice touch, because he basically is shooting from the hip. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I <laughs> wasted quite a few Wow, you squandered that, holy shit. Hey, I, I thought they'd hit, and they didn't. So... Oh, it's come, it's come to get us. Please tell me he was throwing... Yeah, they, pu they pulled up, <laughs> they pull up their own flesh and throw it at you, and it does damage. <laughs> it's how the zombie drones work. Attack type leprosy. <laughs> oh, come on. There, there we go. Fucking flying drones. Well, at least you knew what type of enemy to kill in this room, otherwise we would have been here forever. Or was it every enemy? I don't know. Nah, I'm not particularly sure. Now here's some of the red drones. Now these ones are actually killable with machine gun. They just take a whole hell of a lot of bullets. You can tell them that they're less zombified, so... I, yeah. Are they even? Then, the, 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 I presume they're not zombified. They don't look zombified. And they shoot us us with guns rather than pulling off their own flesh. <laughs> their guns loaded with their... That's underpants. That is underpants. Why have you taken underpants? Underpants didn't deserve it. <laughs> Well, we might need them. Juno might get cold, and it's it's. <laughs> hey, it's raining out here. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe he needs an extra layer of underpants. <laughs> you you can't tell me you wouldn't take them. Um, I'd have to, I'd have to make sure they weren't like manky as shit, <laughs> which they probably are, and yeah. a whole bunch of other factors. Yeah. Oh well. We have them now, there's nothing we can do about it. No, no, it's hostage situation. No, uh, no. Nope. Who was the real hostage there? <laughs> With the tribal was holding a gun. <laughs> and also, opening crates can sometimes be really annoying, because the switch weapon button, which is A, is also the open crates and context sensitive button. But we now we get the sniper rifle. And who better to use it on? Uh, Test its long range functions. Get a good look at that f face. Oh. <laughs> well, can't say I didn't expect that. Beautiful. 
Alright, I think we've got enough new weapons for this episode. Let's let's see what's in here. I need more Reggie face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's this fellow? Looking a little bit pantsless, and I'm having trouble talking to him again. Fuck. Yay, he definitely seems like the kind of person to lose their pants, what with him trying to eat his light stick earlier. <laughs> no, he's eating the bugs on the light stick. Yay, he's a frog, I can get it. <laughs> this is Gimlet, he's pretty much a uh, hippie, so you can take that uh, whatever your way you will. He leaves his underpants in the swamp. Yeah, well, That's apparently... a special kind of hippie. <laughs> oh no, what happened is that uh, the drones apparently stole his underwear and threw him up a tree. Up a tree. Dude, well, okay, okay, the, the enemies seem pretty legit at this point, <laughs> but if they're that great or fucked up... <laughs> just, wanna, just wanna make fun of everyone. Destroy everything by throwing people's pants up trees. What the hell is that thing? That's a crowbar, pretty oh. much. Remember that uh, wooden door on the floor that, oh. we couldn't, yeah, that we used it to pry it open? It's a trap door. Clever girl. Hmm. But that's not all who we're talking to at this, um, in this area. We're gonna come up here and see this thing. <gasps> this is Floyd. He is part of, uh, Mizar's Airborne Elite the Squadron, I guess. And, um, he's ended up being nailed to a pole here. That's, um, because he, uh, as he's gonna show us in a moment, he's gonna betrayed Miser because of advanced AI, his advanced AI I was just like, nope, you kill those tribals, not not a good idea. He became self-aware, try revolting when you're stuck on a fucking pole, you little bitch. <laughs> Use Terminator 2. It'd be like gluing a lunchbox on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yep, more, more, more tribals. We can't have too many of them. Oh god, is this an execution squad? Yes. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Man, we wasn't censoring this shit, they were going all out. This really says a lot. <laughs> wow, I do not remember the game being this grim. <laughs> this pretty much washed over my head when I was a kid. It's just like, yeah, the yeah, answer shooting bears or something. I don't care. Oh no. Got racked up, son. It's broken. <laughs> well, at least it comes apart in four handy pieces. It's sort of like a <laughs> kinder surprise. Just put him back in the egg and shove him in a closet. <laughs> <laughs> Collect all four. So I'm assuming we have to go get Floyd's parts now. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's pretty much what we do. We can't actually leave the area until we do that. This was a big gripe for me when I was a kid because I couldn't find the third component. The first one was, well, pretty easy. It was just right there. Second one, um, we have to do a little bit of exploring in order to get, but it also isn't particularly hard to find. Just gotta go up here and be Santa Claus. The true villain. <laughs> So now we're in this creepy underground segment that is pretty well lit, so maybe not. Hmm. So I don't know, I, I don't know whether to call it like, I mean, I, the whole theme of the planet is like spooky and crypty, but it's like a cross between that and a sewer. Mm. We're doing some more uh, defecation at the moment, destroying Defecation? <laughs> Just Desecration. You just said shitting on this place. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. You better not take that part out. <laughs> I'm okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is that we're destroying coffins, so we... Uh, no, no, no dead person is safe. <laughs> From being shat on. <laughs> From being... <laughs> shitting on all of the corpses. <laughs> Uh, but we got we got a secret weapon there, the timed mines. They're not actually that useful, but they're fun to play with, and hopefully I'll be able to demo them next episode, considering this episode there's no more enemies left, and I want to save the tribal this time, because I don't want to come back for them. Hmm. Unless I absolutely have to. Anyway, more more capacity increase crates, more, more bullets, more better. You know the drill. 
<laughs> but that was for your homing missiles, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, they do care. Yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, typically, you will probably miss the homing missiles, and, uh, that's not a big problem, because you don't need them. This is mm. the door we exited from, we, we can't go back through it. Not really sure why that is, but... Rare wear. <laughs> Once you enter the crypt, you may never leave. <laughs> well, there is something inside that fire. Yeah, Did the you graphics fucking see fun. that? <laughs> no, the graphics. That was a person. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts are back. <laughs> the ghosts. The ghosts. <laughs> They're on to us. <laughs> no one in LP is safe. <laughs> Hydra went wide. Hydro, not Hydra, um, Tribal Orbs. <laughs> <laughs> would, the, would the flares be orbs? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I can't answer that question. Oh dear. So flares, guess what they do? Light they, up the place. Yeah. Oh, you Oh, you can throw them, okay. Yeah. This um, area would typically be, well, you probably couldn't see there, wouldn't think there's, there's anything there. These two Tribals are really fucking annoying because well you typically wouldn't think that they're there but they are hmm. <laughs> and you know, if you were going to miss any tribals in that level it's going to be those ones for sure yeah mm. but we finally found the third component the reason why i couldn't find that one that was the one that gave me trouble when i was a kid was because you had to blow up that door and that didn't really cross my mind when i was a kid it seems like it wasn't entirely obvious but I guess. It, this was back when destructible environments in video games is incredibly rare, so... Yeah, but we, we, we got all three pieces, so now we're gonna, we're gonna summon demons. N no, we're, we're just gonna fix up Floyd. But you didn't collect the optional instruction sheet. You're gonna mess this up somehow, to <laughs> yeah. be a screw missing. Oh no, I, I think this will... he'll take care of it himself. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! You have entered my mind! <laughs> just gonna fix this himself. <laughs> and manages to get himself unnailed from the pole. How did he do how did he do that? He was waiting he was biding his time and strength, just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> uh well we're we're done. Catch us next time where we're gonna show you just exactly what Floyd can do. See you then.